Hi there, Head Hunter Crafts here, and I'm going to give a really quick rundown of this big thing because uh, there's a lot to go through. So, pretty much the entire thing is EVA foam construction. All the patterns, well, most of the patterns were pulled from this guy, uh, the official statue from the first game, uh, and some additional patterns for things that I needed were taken from 3D prints, so things like this air tank. This model, for some reason, has the wrong air tank on it, so uh, I managed to model up and print off the air tank to get the patterns from. Same thing was done for the drill. This is the base of the drill. I had to do some adjustments uh, from the way it was in game because there were some clipping issues. So I had to make some adjustments on the 3D model that I made to get this to the right size so that it would all work properly. Due to some issues with the summer heat wave uh, and all the sun coming into my workshop windows, there was some um, problems with the glue melting and coming apart or just the tackiness of contact disease is not working properly. So the majority of the big parts, so the body and the two air tanks on the back, they were fiberglassed to make them nice and solid so they wouldn't come apart. It also has a lot of rigidity to the body, being such a, just a big ball, make sure that it doesn't flop around everywhere or wobble while I'm trying to walk. All the eyes were 3D prints as well. Um, well, the first one was, that was a mold and cast in some resin, like this one here. Uh, and there's a allowance through here, which is a um, 10 mil, same as the foam, so I can push it into the foam, get it nice and flush, and I have plenty of plenty of uh, space to get them attached to. The wing nuts as well started off as a 3D print, which I modelled up, and then they were printed off, mould and cast like this one here. Um, this was a waste one; I had some spare resin, uh, but they do go a bit deeper. And again, they have an extra lip to go inside the body to mount them to. The boots also have 3D prints. All the buckles are 3D prints. They're not mold and cast because they were printed in place, which means that um, the scent of him revolves around the body, so the buckles do work. Um, and the boots were skinned with some EVA foam. The soles are two pieces of MDF with some leather, uh, with some foam. Sorry, so that's three sheets all together. Uh, so when you're walking on a hollow surface especially, it gives a really nice thud which helps sell the weight of the suit because naturally, uh, being a giant brass diving suit, it, realistically it wouldn't weigh very light. So having a big solid sole helps to make it sound really nice and heavy. The drill does work. That's got an electric screwdriver mounted through a shaft on the inside. So I can press that, it spins up really nicely. That's a fun little feature. Uh, I had to sew up the glove for the other hand, get some patterns for that from a 3D print again. Sew that all up, stuff that, and then fix up the bottom so it didn't all leak everywhere. Um, some other notable features, there are RGB lights on the inside. So I can control his three different moods. He has a red anger, yellow passive, and a green hypnotized state. The RGB lights mean I can control all of those from inside the suit. Uh, and there's also a endoscopic camera mounted underneath uh, the central pipe of the body. It means that I can see out of the costume nice and clearly. That flows into my phone, so I've got a nice screen there. Um, and also on the inside is an A-frame backpack, which is strapped to a, the acrylic plate and through the body, all the way through the back, uh, which makes sure it's really nicely secured. And it's also really nicely secured to myself, uh, so it doesn't wobble everywhere. Um, it's really nice and secure and spreads the weight of the suit all over. And overall, that's a really, really fast rundown uh, of the suit. Thank you.